And welcome to the Ability Zone. I am Paul Amadeus Lane, your ambassador for the Abilities Extra. Now, I'm not the only ambassador. It's not the highest degree of declaration like the ambassador, but I'm one of the ambassadors of this great organization. And we're so happy and excited to let you know that Abilities Expo Los Angeles is right around the corner. We are so excited to have you come out and join us. We're going to be joined today by a very, very special guest president and CEO of the Abilities Expo. I call him King David Kors, but you can call him David Kors, great friend of mine. And uh, David, as a person that I've known for for several years, he and Lou Schomer and the rest of the crew of what they're doing at the Abilities Expo is, is really amazing. They allow me to be one of the ambassadors. They allow me to do the Ability Zone, uh, to be a part of, uh, of this great experience. And I'm so happy and so excited uh, to be partnered with them and the rest of the crew over at the Abilities Expo. I'll tell you a little story uh, about David Kors. David is one of the funniest guys you will ever meet, nicest guys to him, he and Lou. But last year, uh, David and I, we had dinner together, and I, I wasn't quite sure what to get. And I said, David, what are you going to get? He said, I'm going to get the bone-in ribeye. And I'm like, I've had ribeyes before, but I don't like really messing with the bone and fooling around with the bone. But I said, I'm going to be like David. I'm going to get me the bone in ribeye. That was so good. Ever since then, I've been ordering nothing but bone in ribeye. So David has taught me a lot when it comes to just business and, and life in general. But he's also taught me about the more important things in life, like a bone in ribeye. So David, thank you so much for, uh, for just uh, introducing me to that all right without any further delay let's bring on the man himself mr david Kors. you ready for it i know i am and i am so excited to have the president and ceo of the abilities expo my buddy my friend partner in crime david Kors. david how are you that's the most important sounding introduction <laughs> I've ever had. Other, other than trying to live up to that, I'm fine. Well, you know what, David? You are important. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not new. And if they give you a hard time, let me know. I'll accidentally run over their foot for you, okay? <laughs> Done. <laughs> hey. well, well, David, we have turned the corner to 2019. Abilities Expo Los Angeles is just right around the corner, my friend. I can't believe it's here already. I remember last year... You and I um, having a discussion about Abilities Expo 2018 in Los Angeles, and now we're at 2019. David, what's been going on since the last time we chatted? But it, it, the time just goes, doesn't it? It does. Uh, it does. Anyway, uh, well, it's Paul. It's been a it's been a, a great year. Uh, you know, we have other events around the country, and we're pretty excited that all of the events set records last year. So every single one in the states did better than it had done the year before. And I am really happy to tell you and, and everybody who's watching, this will be the largest Abilities Expo in Los Angeles ever. Um, you remember the first event was 40 years ago, 1979. Just incredible. But we'll have more exhibitors, more square footage in terms of how much space we're taking up at the convention center. And based on our pre-registration, more visitors than we've ever had before. It's We feel very lucky and pretty excited that in 11 days um, the show opens and and, and David I, I remember when uh, you and I was was chatting about this and you said Paul you know how how, how old the abilities expo is I was like well is it like 15 17 23 you said no 40 years old and when we look at that how it's just been sustainable over over 40 years since you and your partner uh, Lou uh, Schomer had um, you know taken over this event I have seen personally as a consumer of the abilities expo see it just take on and morph into something we never thought happened. And, and talk about just what you guys have been able to do since it's been under your leadership, you and Lou's leadership. Uh, well, thanks for the kind words, Paul. It's the, the show coming up next week will almost exactly be the size of the first event that we did, which was in Anaheim in 2009. So it's been just over 10 years since we first got involved with the shows. Uh, and I would love to tell you it's because we're very bright and uh, all that stuff. But the reality is that the community has been there the whole time. We just 
had the opportunity to spend more time and focus more on the community than the previous owners did. It's a little bit like buying a house with a garden that looks kind of scraggly in the back and you pull a couple of weeds and you give it some water and suddenly there's this great looking garden. So we just tried to make the opportunity available. We needed to show exhibitors that we had the ability to drive enough of the right people to the show so they had enough traffic to make a good commercial return on their investment. Absolutely. We've been really lucky to get so many not-for-profits and government groups involved to support the show and to promote it to their communities. Um, the city of Los Angeles and the Department of Disability, as an example, will have distributed 15,000 flyers for the expo all through the city of Los Angeles with their different public offices and parks and recreation and all of that. So with everybody working in kind of the same direction, with the same objective of making people aware that the show is happening, um, slowly but surely we've gotten traction and uh, people are hearing about how many folks came out last year and exhibitors that have been in the show before or used to be in the show but left for one reason or another are, are coming back because they, they've heard it's the, the right place to be if you want to engage with the disability community in Southern California. And David, you bring up a very good point when you talked about making sure the uh, exhibitors get an ROI. And, and, and that really shows just how, how serious the Abilities Expo is. You know, it, it's people out there who have businesses, who are helping uh, out members of, of my community, the uh, disabled community, and, and how you want to make sure that it's, uh, it's enjoyable and profitable for everyone. And, and that really shows the difference between what you guys are doing and other expos out there because some expos out there are just worried about taking in the money themselves and showing off uh, some of these uh, the, these different uh, um, you know companies and things like that but you want to make sure that everybody has an enjoyable experience and I think that's that's just amazing what you guys are doing David well oh, thanks if, if somebody has a positive experience they're likely to come back uh, if someone has a negative experience we never see them again um, so it's important for us to make sure we explain the event properly, to make sure that we, or at least try not to over-promise and under-deliver, just the opposite, under-promise and over-deliver. And if a company can come out and achieve their objectives, whatever those objectives are, it's not just about selling stuff. Sometimes it's branding. Sometimes it's letting you know they're there. Uh, sometimes they're introducing new products. Uh, they're supporting their distributors and their dealers. Um, a lot of the companies, as you know, don't sell anything at the show. They're just there to say, when you're ready, we'd like you to think of us. And as long as that works for them, then they'll come back. If they come back, you come back as a visitor because there's a, a selection of, of cool new stuff to see. And one thing sort of reinforces the other. And, and David, when it comes to like um, just the Abilities Expo experience and how no doubt you talked about ones having products there for the community, but also education too. And that's one thing that really... I like about being at the Abilities Expo because when I went there um, after my accident over 26 years ago, one of the things that I left with was just the educational uh, aspect of it, different organizations <laughs> out there, um, uh, different resources out there. And, and I think when people understand just what's out there at the Abilities Expo, I think they, they really get a well-rounded um, understanding of just what it's all about. Well, it's yeah, it's more than just... I hope my exhibitors will forgive me. It's more than just about looking at the products and services that people have in the booth space. And you've done the show more than I have, but um, we try to make it, number one, as accessible as we can. Admission is free. Um, having things like free loaner scooters for people who need them. Uh, having an artist market where we showcase artists with disabilities and let them show, show and sell their work. And we provide that space free of charge. Mm -hmm. Having an assistive technology showcase, which here in L.A. is sponsored by the state of California, to show the coolest, latest, greatest of assistive technology, we give them that space free so they can demonstrate and in connect with people and tell them where they can find and whether it's appropriate and how to perhaps uh, access it for their own use. Um, we've got the events arena with demonstrations of adaptive sports and adaptive dancing and service animal demonstrations. Uh, this year we have something brand new called the Angel City Sports Zone, which is trying to get people literally to become more active and watch wheelchair basketball and sitting volleyball and bocce and 
Uh, meeting Paralympians are going to be it. That's all free. Uh, we have a 20-foot adaptive climbing wall that will be at the show, sponsored by Liberator. It's free. Um, free manual wheelchair repair that Frog Legs is doing for us again this year. It's, it's free. Um, the 11 workshops you talked about over the three days, it's also free. So there's a lot to do, and that is, doesn't even talk about all the networking. I mean, you've seen it as much as I have. You'll see clusters of people on the show floor just hanging out because they haven't seen their friends maybe since last year's show. It's a chance to renew relationships and meet, meet folks, meet new friends. Uh, what we love to see is you'll see someone discover that they meet somebody who has a very similar challenge, very similar disability. They can say, well, you know, how's that thing working for you? Or I, I, I had trouble with this. Or how did you solve that problem? I mean, just so much more happening than people going booth to booth to booth to see what's inside. Um, it's, it's a pretty overwhelming sensory experience. And, and you know from being there, the noise level is pretty, is pretty high. Um, there's a lot of people laughing and smiling. And you, know, you see kids in their wheelchairs or power chairs who are going 500 miles an hour playing tag. It's, it's, it's kind of organized chaos. And it's just a whole hell of a lot of fun. It is. It is. And, and you know, I remember when, um, whenever we take our, whenever we take our lunch break and we're at sitting in the lunch area, we always get into a great conversation with people who are um, just visiting there, David, and, and just the feedback of getting to learn about their stories. There's a, a lot of people who have children who are disabled and that really touched my heart when I'm able to talk to the parents and talk about their challenges and seeing their, their beautiful children there. That really touches me because People who may work with parents who have children with disabilities may not understand what they go through each and every day. And it's good for them to have a conversation with ones who understand the life of, of just living as a disabled person and having an organization uh, like the Abilities Expo there where people can have this network. And you have people talking about, hey, I can't use this chair anymore. Can your daughter use it? Because it's taken me a long time to get insurance to pay for one. And people are just networking and doing all these deals. And it's amazing. Yeah, it's and you know, Paul, you and I have shared some of the, you know, the the goosebump moments yeah. or the aha moments that have taken place at some of the shows. Um, I think you might remember our very first one was with this young kid Alexander, who we met at the very first Southern California show we did. Who, long story short, we've now known he and his family um, for over ten years. Um, he's his face has been on our website, he's been on billboards all over the country, um, and we've watched him grow up from a five-year-old in a wheelchair to a 15-year-old young man, um, and just watched his development and watch how he's adjusted and adapted and the benefits of some therapies and equipment. It's just, it's a relationship, and, and that's that's one out of literally hundreds we, we feel so lucky to be part of. I mean, it's kind of a cool, I've said this to you before, what we do with Abilities Expo is, is kind of better than a real job. Yeah. Um, we're surrounded by people like yourself, who I've never seen you not smile. Uh, although I'm kind of impressed you get a lunch break at the show. I wish I got one of those. <laughs> oh, did, but, uh, did, did I tell on myself? <laughs> you did a little bit. But um, it's there are always some challenges and, and things that happen. But on balance, this is great stuff. It is. It is, David. And, and and looking at the wonderful exhibitors that we're going to have there this year at um, the Abilities Expo in Los Angeles uh, here in 2019, it's just amazing. Well-rounded things that we're going to have there. And what I like to tell people, too, even who are not part of the disabled community, I tell them to come on out, too, because you may see something there that may enhance your life, too. And God forbid, you know, we live in a time, David, where from one day to the next, we're healthy, and then something tragic can happen to us. It's good to know what's out there. If that ever happens to us or our family members, we can go and find out these great resources that are out there when it comes to technology, when it comes to assistive devices. And, uh, you know, it's great to have everybody come out, regardless if they're disabled or not. Yeah, it's it's just a fun place to be for those three days. It is. Um, we, we have friends who, our friends who come out just to see what it is I do when I'm mysteriously locked up in my office for hours at a time and they come to the show and they've had probably nothing to do with the disability community other on a tangent. I mean, they 
they're out in life, they see people with disabilities, but have never really thought about it. We'll come spend a couple of hours of the show. And it's so profound. The experience is so profound that they just sort of the, the light goes off and, and they, they kind of get what we're doing. It's, um, it's better than a real job. Yeah, it is. It is, David. And, and just like you talked about how it being a year long thing because of other, other events going on throughout the United States and even parts of the world now with, uh, going on in the Canada right now uh, you you and Lou and the team are always busy and, and it's great to see um, just what what's been happening and what's been being done at the Abilities Expo and you know I tip my hat off to, to everyone and I, and I am honored to be a part part of the uh, experience being one of the ambassadors and everything and I thank you for allowing me to do that as well my friend it's our pleasure uh, the, literally the more the merrier and I hope this goes on for the next thousand years absolutely absolutely so Dave let's talk about that wonderful website now when people go to the website what can they check out there uh, just about everything um, if you, as you look at the website you'll see that you can look at an exhibitor list and a copy of the floor plan you can if you're not sure how to get to the convention center directions are there where to park uh, for people coming from out of town there's a link to our hotels there's tons of videos and and photographs and content from previous events you can look at the schedule of workshops and see what workshops are being offered on which day and which time you can see the schedule of activities in the event arena when wheelchair dance is happening when quad rugby is happening um, when the skateboarders are going to be there so you can look at that whole schedule of activities we've got some day-long activities on the weekend we have a face painter for the kids and for some adults um, who want to go take advantage of it, it's free of charge. So all of that schedule of activity, um, the expo, the workshops, uh, it's all right there. Plus, uh, if you look at the, the community part of the website, there are fresh stories, um, things that might be interesting to you. Uh, and if you're traveling and want to come to one of the other events, there's the whole calendar of events. Uh, this year we'll have seven events here in the States, plus, as you mentioned, the event in Toronto. So eight North American Abilities Expos throughout the year and Dave I'm looking at some of these uh, workshops and they're they're really really intriguing one on on sex and disability um, one on cannabis uh, one on uh, home buying I mean just running the whole the whole gambit there and it, it really shows just how innovative uh, the abilities Expo um, is when it comes to just these issues because you know people who are part of the disabled community are involved in all these things so it's great to come it's, up with these workshops it's true. And Paul, we're also, we've got some, got some really interesting exhibitors that are first time exhibitors this year that have never been at Abilities Expo before. Um, and it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, so if you come to the show next, oh, well, you'll be there, but when people come to the show next week, if they've ever been interested in adaptive gaming, um, we've got Sony PlayStation that's going to be at the show for the first time ever. And they're going to be there talking about how accessible uh, PlayStation is and make gaming uh, accessible for a lot more folks. Mercedes-Benz is going to be there for the first time showing how appropriate some of their van sprinter type vehicles are to be converted for mobility use. Um, and, and Wells Fargo is coming to LA for the first time and it's interesting they're not coming to ask you to open a checking account they're not asking to you know it's not about open, getting a credit card. Uh, Wells Fargo is coming to the show specifically to recruit they have a number of jobs that are available and they're looking to recruit specifically from the disability community. Uh, and if people are, have not registered for the show yet, because you can register on the website online free at www.abilities.com, you can uh, form and click on it, or if you register on site, because you can do that as well, it's still free. There's a question that says, would you be interested in a job with Wells Fargo? And if you are, Here's some of the different kind of jobs you have available. What's of interest to you? And you can meet them on site, go to their booth. Uh, it's a really big booth, and they're even bringing the stagecoach. So there'll be a Wells Fargo stagecoach on the show floor, just like you've seen in the Rose Parade or on, in the commercials. Um, but you can talk to Wells Fargo about joining their team and looking for a career opportunity uh, from them. So those are things that we just haven't been able to offer before. And as more people are finding out about the event, uh, engaging with it, we're at, we're on the edge here, maybe on the cusp a little bit of getting some participation from non-traditional sorts of companies 
that really want to engage with the disability community and maybe haven't thought about it so much in the past or weren't sure how. And if we have a good show and if, if Sony has a good experience, if Wells Fargo has a good experience, some of the others, then they'll be inclined to come back. And if, if I were a major bank or financial institution and I saw Wells Fargo was at the show and they had a good event, I'd wonder why are they there and why aren't, why aren't I there? Uh, and the same thing with the other categories. So we're hoping that um, we get some extra momentum and um, move on from there. You know, David, my, my eyes kind of lit up when you said Wells Fargo was going to be there because I was like, you know, a brother got bad credit, David. And I was wondering if they go help me out with my credit when you said that, but it's just a job. But not, not just a job, but, you know, it's a good experience for once out there. It's a, it's a career opportunity. Maybe they'll help my credit out, right? Yes, well, <laughs> you just talk to the folks. They're nice folks. There we go. No, but David, and it just shows just like a bouquet, a smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> of, of different things out there that's going to be at the uh, Abilities Expo and to see where it started from when I started going over 26 years ago to where it is today, it is just, wow, it, it blows my mind and it's just nonstop, you know, great uh, fun activities and camaraderie out there. David, let's talk about the show hours. So once we're listening sure. right now can know what time to be there and uh, transportation Anything you can tell uh, tell our audience on that? Absolutely. We open on Friday from 11 to 5, Saturday from 11 to 5, and Sunday from 11 to 4. Um, if you live in the LA area and have, ac have um, access to the Access Transit System, uh, Access will be giving a lot of people rides to it. They, they have a special parking area to drop off and pick up people for Access Transportation right on the uh, right on site at the exhibition center uh, for those who are driving uh, we are in the west hall versus the south hall so it's west hall a of the los angeles convention the best place to park is in the west hall parking which is on uh, la live avenue i think it's called but all the directions and maps and everything are right on the website if you need them um, sometimes parking gets pretty tight because of all the other things happening in the building. Usually there are other trade shows or conferences. Um, and we also have to compete usually with the Lakers, the Clippers, and the Kings. So the good news is next weekend, there will not be a basketball or a hockey game during any of the three days we're there. The bad news is that's because at the Staples Center, which is right next door, is the Bull Riders. So anybody who wants to go see professional bull riding, you can do two <laughs> things at once. You can see the Bull Riders at Staples, and you can see Abilities Expo at the Convention Center. So come early if you can, because parking fills up easy, uh, quickly. And um, we'll see you there. Awesome. David Course, looking forward to being at the Abilities Expo. And thank you so much for uh, joining us and talking about some of the great things we have to look forward to. And David, I talked about this before I introduced you. I told everyone that, that you're responsible for me falling in love falling in love with a bone in ribeye. So David is responsible <laughs> for that. He, he told me about it. I was scared at first, but David, thank you so much for enlightening me on the cuisine out there. It was my pleasure. Once again, I thank my buddy, David Corris, president and CEO of the Abilities Expo. If you see him out there, talk to him. He's a great guy. He loves just interacting with the community. He cares so deeply, uh, not only about us, a part of the, uh, uh, disabled community, but but even he cares about the exhibitors, just the whole experience. So when you see David and his uh, partner Lou, please tell them thank you and tell them hello. All right. Uh, one other thing, uh, David talked about uh, Sony PlayStation being there for the first time, and um, I have the distinct honor and opportunity to uh, be doing the workshop with uh, Sony PlayStation. I work along with them. I do some uh, accessibility. Uh, gaming consulting uh, with them and partner with them on a lot of other things as well too so it's going to be my honor to sit down with some of the great minds and the developers uh, of Sony PlayStation and talk about just uh, the vision of accessibility and gaming and how you're going to be educated when you go to their booth about some of the things that, that they are doing so alright so make sure you support all of the great exhibitors at the Abilities Expo Register online, be there or be square. Until next time, 
Take care, folks. Talk to you soon. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff.